to Combat Cocktails. Dan, Ian, and Derek are going to review Jim Beam's uh, bourbon. Yes. It's in there. It's so, in this? It's in here. So my, my, we were- So the we, gas tank, right? No. <laughs> it's that right would be cool though. There. Whoa, look at that. And it has a ceramic inside. It looks like it's, uh, I thought it was an Irish cream at first, but it turns out it's not. Wow, so, that's kind of cool. So what you want to do is pour some of that in that bottle. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Good luck. It, it's, you just go fast, I guess. I don't know, it should pour, right? There you go. Yeah. That's what? enough, we're not going to drink that much. <laughs> We can't. Well, now we have now to. you have now to drink. Have to drink Once you open it, you drink. So the story is my, my uncle. Yeah, uncle. Yeah, my uncle passed away a couple months ago. My aunt, my aunt has to sell the house. He has lived. This is his childhood home. Do your special work, Dan. So he's there's so much stuff in this house, and so we're digging through the house trying to clean it out and get everything out of the basement so that they can auction it or, or whatever yard sale or, or throw it away. And Liam comes out with this. He's like, Dad, I found this in a box buried in like oil cans or something in like the bottom of this box. He's like, it's pretty cool. It's a truck so or a car. And he starts walking. He's like, it's making noise. I'm like, <laughs> he's like, there's something in there. I'm like, oh, that, that's a little weird. But if you read the bottom, it actually says James Beam Distilling oh, from 1989. So then we came home and we started looking them up and apparently they do these like every year. They put out these Ooh. these decanters that have different designs of oh. like Corvettes or whatever. Um, and so this was 1989's vehicle. And it, he looked online, he's like, he was hoping it was like gonna be some ancient relic that he could like sell for lots of money. And it was like, he was like yes. Was. Yeah. And then yeah. he's like, no. And then you were like, yes, there's booze in it. <laughs> <laughs> Son says no, father says yes. <laughs> it, it, it can't, it was like $80. And if even if you sell it for 80 bucks, you can't sell it with liquor in it. So wait a minute, are we drinking what was found in there? <laughs> <laughs> it smells like Jim Beam. <laughs> so now, oh, yeah. now Dan has caught yeah. up. Yes, you're drinking 1980s. It smells like smooth Jim Beam. Bourbon. Yeah that's been stored, rested, inside rested. of a, an antique vehicle from 1989. I drank most of a fifth of Jim Beam when I was like 19. So this is I, about the same time. Not a this fifth, must sorry, yeah, a handle. Oh, yeah, well, and I had to that's work like for a 13 fifth. hours the next day. So this doesn't rough. taste good to you then? Uh, no, it's probably Well, he was right. not drinking that in 89. No, uh, no, it was 90. Mm, you're right. He would, yeah, he would have, yeah, you're right. It was like 95 or 96, so yeah. it wasn't that far off. Yeah. It was closer to the- I think I met you in 96. Yeah. Oh. I was working on no TV, so I think I can't remember if I was doing that in college or. Oh, oh, maybe. So you met him at a betting track? No, I did not. I met him in a college a freshman club. dorm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a so uh, stranger places to meet than OTB. <laughs> I don't remember what 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 it's is really it? smooth. It says on the side, but I can't read it because it's in it's in um, cursive. Mm. <laughs> that would be what my dad and my son would say. I can't read it. It's in cursive. Um, it's just really hard to read. Oh, Never that's really fun. It's hmm? sweet. Chevrolet? Yeah, probably. Is it? It's sweet and it's it, really caramely. Looks like Chevrolet. I, I could smell the, the the oak and the vanilla already. Mm. It was rested in plastic for lots of years. <laughs> no, it's got a, it's got a ceramic inside. No, it's ceramic. <laughs> it wouldn't stay in plastic. Mm -hmm. I didn't know no. that's what gasoline tastes like. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm drinking more gasoline because this is awesome. Um, So... It's, it is, it's, it We're is. drinking bourbon from a car found in a cellar that was in a box. <laughs> from 1989. <laughs> yeah, from 1989. Yeah. Like, we what? don't know what else he poured in there. No. <laughs> we know nothing about this. It was sealed when Liam found it, wasn't it? No. Oh. oh it, was. it was just like what we oh, just did. I thought oh. it was sealed. And, and I just opened it and. Cheers, if we see you next week. It's, yeah. <laughs> it was good. Well, I, I, I think we'll I made her taste, taste it. Yeah, true. We all tasted it a little bit to see if it was like bad. And I was like, no, it tastes like whiskey, kind of. Mm, yeah. I mean, it's still burning, which is like the thing I would think would be the hardest is like you need to get the, the alcohol has to stay in there. And the more it just kind of like evaporates, even in these bottles, the alcohol will evaporate. My moonshine doesn't taste the same as it did when I bought it. And that's only like five years difference at like mm. 100 proof. And that, I, I'm guessing it probably doesn't taste like it did in 89. Probably not. But it still tastes like bourbon. And it's it still tastes bourbon. like bourbon. It still it's... smells like Jim Beam, so. Yeah. yeah. Does it smell like you remember when you were drinking really bad and went and <laughs> it work? Well, I don't know if I have puke, so I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a good visual. On the way out, not on yeah, the way in. Oh, well. <laughs> 
So, so, so there's our the review for our 1989 Chevy is that it's a it's a tasty vintage. It's a tasty vintage. It's um, it holds up. A little sweet, caramelly. Um, I would suggest if you if you purchase mm. one of these, you don't don't be surprised when there's no alcohol in them because you can't ship stuff on eBay with alcohol hiding in it, right? Or anywhere. That's pretty much the only place you get these on eBay. And there's actually a website that just sells. These. Oh really? Yeah, all the vintage bottles that they they've produced. Mm, I mean, they've cool. you know that's for certain car anniversaries yeah, of cars, cool. they'll do like a 1970 Corvette or whatever. It doesn't have to uh, just be. Dan was saying it looks like they did mostly vets. Yeah, but they weren't all vets. There were some other cars he had seen in there, and okay. the, I think there were some. I think a truck. I don't know. There was a couple other things that were kind of like memorable for whatever that time period was, or something special about it. I don't know. I thought it looked cool. We, it, the store was great because he literally was carrying it up. The, he was carrying it up the stairs to show me, and it started making that noise. He's like, uh, I don't know what's in there. And we didn't know how to get it out. That's, he thought this was broken. But that's what he says. <laughs> but he, he did bring it to you opened, right? Yeah. You know, he brought it to me dusty. He, oh, it, he yeah, brought it up to you, and he was like, he like literally brought yeah. it. He's like, I don't know what's in there, Dad. <laughs> I just drink <laughs> random stuff I find in toolboxes. Because <laughs> that's literally, everything this guy had was from like the, like, my, my aunt's like, come over if you need any tools. I'm like, I can always use tools. Like, every, most guys could use a tool. Something's going to yeah. break me a tool. Then I saw the tools. And we're talking like early 1900s. Like, Craftsman wasn't even invented yet. Like, it's kind of cool, though. It, it, historically, for they those people break. who hoard if stuff. If they lasted this long. They're good yeah. tools. Mm. But they're, they weren't useful tools. They were like random mismashes of just stuff that I don't even know what it was supposed to do. Like not organized. Yeah, it was just a mess. Like even the toolbox tools. was falling apart. Tools. It was weird. I was hoping for like, I, I did take a couple of his little chainsaws they had, but like he had a bunch of stuff. Don't hoard people. Lesson of the day, unless it's alcohol. Just, yeah. you got to get rid of stuff. Just get rid of it so you're not a burden on the rest of your family has to move that shit out when you die. <laughs> John said that Dan should drink from the nozzle. <laughs> yeah. I could drink from the nozzle. Don's not here. With that white shirt. He texted me. Uh, John. <laughs> Don. Don should be here so he has to and me he could he drink should. from the nozzle. At the same time. So, so there you go. Sidebar, more videos. We're done. We got to go make real cocktails now. We're teaching I'm how to drink. I'm driving the car. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> See you all later. <laughs>